Kuna. So now we're back in the taxidermy studio, and I have my Barracuda ready to go. I'm looking forward to preserving this mount because that was a special event when we were down in Cozumel spearfishing for our beautiful Barracuda, and now I'm going to share with you the techniques for preserving and mounting a saltwater fish. You know, a lot of taxidermists will tell you, well, you got to get a reproduction done. you got to get a plastic fish done. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can preserve the saltwater fish that you catch, and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do on a saltwater fish is you have to create a hand-carved mannequin. There aren't many saltwater fish mannequins on the market. And in past episodes, we went over step-by-step step how to make your own hand-carved mannequin. And that's where we're going to pick up today. Let's take a look at our hand-carved mannequin, and then we're going to get into the skinning and scraping. The front silhouette actually gives us the shape that we see hanging on the wall. The top silhouette gives us our action, the actual movement of the fish. And in this case, you can see I carved this and cut this in an S shape. And what you get when you use these two patterns is you get kind of a blocky fish. And then you just go ahead and carve it. You carve it to the exact contours, the exact contours of our barracuda. And you can see that I've done that with this mannequin, so this mannequin's ready to go. Again, if you want to see exactly how to hand carve your own mannequin, refer back to the past episodes of Taxidermy for the Sportsman, where I go over every step for carving your own pre-made mannequin. Now we're going to go in and take a look at our barracuda. We don't need to take any measurements on a hand carved mannequin because all the measurements are recorded in our mannequin. So now we're going to go ahead and start our first incision. Now this is going to be the show side of the fish. This is going to be the side facing out. So this is the side we cut. And we make a cut directly straight down the center of the back of the fish, but we start up with a gill girdle bone right here and we break right through the center. 